ready? Yep. Is it going? Yes, it's going. Oh, well, greetings. I'm glad to have this opportunity to show you some uh, warm-up exercises, which I hope you'll find useful. Um, there are two reasons for this. Number one is to get our bodies involved in the uh, physical activity that we need to do for singing. And secondly, and very importantly, I think, is to remember that uh, effective singing is based on the memory of sensation. And so what you're doing is you're practicing how it feels to sing properly. So to start with, um, I'd like you to do this kind of exercise to try to get warmed up the upper part of your body using muscles that you'll use to help to support the tone. And in reverse direction. And then stretching forward like this several times. And then swinging from side to side like this. We use these upper muscles above the waist to help support the tone when we're singing. And over our heads, maybe this way. And get our backs into it. Okay, and then breathing in deeply, stretching up high like this, but feeling your rib cage expanding as you're taking the breath in. several of these until you feel that you're opening your throat wide like you're yawning and taking deep breaths down the lower rib cage. Okay, uh, having done that, uh, the first thing we want to do is to practice uh, a nice open throat position for the ah vowel, which is our most open vowel. So if you want to take your hands like this and put them down on, with your thumbs on your, your chin and push down a nice open space coming in there, and then try to sing all of your vowels uh, based on that opening. So we'll start here and go down by half steps like this. So sing along with me, please. And now, I O down, I O down, I O down, I O down. Notice uh, I was trying to get you to keep your throat open on all those basic vowels. So try to keep that going in everything we do subsequently. Uh, the next exercise is uh, going like this with a Y sound. Ya, 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 ya. Try to feel your body moving behind or ahead of each of those notes. And uh, let's do that together. Ready? Now. Ya, 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 ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
had you go legato connected there but I want you to continue to feel the impact that you felt when we did them individually so that you feel you have support for each of those tones. Uh, the next exercise um, we'll do is going up five tones like this. keeping your throat open so that you're not really making the vowel sounds by shaping them with your throat. You keep your, your throat is open uh, and that is the sound um, area in which your, your sound reverberates but doesn't make the pitches. Now um, another um, exercise uh, which will help to um, develop your chest voice, chest register, is to simply open a nice ah vowel and then slide down a fifth like this. So, ah, and try to feel, you, if you want to put your hands on your chest to feel the vibrations there, let's try it. And we'll go down by half steps. All right, there, now. Ah, and next one. voice and the feeling of where your chest resolution of the sound is. Uh, the other uh, version would be to try to feel where the tone <clears throat> vibrates in your head when you're going up for a higher pitch. Uh, and for that, I would suggest you do uh, uh, use the word qui and do it like this. Whee! Whee! It's high voice, kind of a head voice. Uh, let's try it. Everybody together and now. Again, and whee! You feel where that vibration is going and forward in your head. So as you go up in pitch, you want to feel more of that. As you go down lower, you want to feel more of the chest voice. Thanks very much. Thank you, Crawford.